Hey guys, this is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and the 34 by 24 hammer mill behind me is getting buttoned up and ready to ship. So I wanted to take a quick video and show you guys the insides of the machine and how it works. So this is the hammer mill with the lid off. This is our 34 by 24 hammer mill. And I wanted to show you the guts of this thing before we shift it off here. These are the hammers. And we've run several tons of material through this copper, brass, aluminum, um, computer parts, electronics, all sorts of stuff. And the wear is, is very minimal. The, the hammers are still in great shape. You can see even the, the edges are still square and, and nice and sharp. This is uh, about a two inch by three and a half inch screen down here. And goes all the way around the, the bottom half of the mill. These rotors here are three-quarter inch thick steel. These are the pins that hold the hammers on. It's a six inch shaft here that the rotor assembly is attached to. And then the shaft is turned down to a three and a half inch and then onto the, these big spherical roller bearings. The pins that hold the hammers on right here are held in on the sides by these big plates and to change the hammers you take off these two bolts take this plate off and then you can pull the pin out change the hammers and put the pin back in depending on the application or how fine you're trying to grind the stuff this hammer mill can take up to uh, 14 hammers Right now we have uh, eight hammers, so four on each side, and they're staggered. So you can see the hammers here, and we're, we took out the hammers in between because we're doing a fairly coarse crush, and uh, we, didn't, we didn't need as many hammers. If you're gonna grind fairly fine, you want uh, more hammers, so you do the full uh, set of um, 14 in there. Over here is the the drive side, it's run by a, a 100 horse electric motor. It's a six belt shiv here that gears it down. I think the rotor runs about 800 RPM, run by six belts. And we can cut any size screen that you need. We've made two so far, a uh, four inch by four inch square hole, and then this, this screen that's in the mill now. And the mill, the way the screen attaches in the mill is the armor on the side here holds the screen in place with the radius of the armor. And then the screen is held in by the lid both on both sides. So when the lid gets bolted on, it holds the screen in place. And to change the screen, you just take off the side plates, the armor side plates, and you can grab it here with a chain and use a crane or a forklift. And the screen just rolls out from under the rotor. So you don't need to take the rotor assembly out to change the screen. Here's a shot looking underneath the hammer mill at the screen. So this is where the material will get crushed and come out the bottom. And this screen is inch and a quarter thick steel. And then we have big, huge ribs on the back, stiffening ribs, to keep the screen in shape and uh, for its, its lifetime in the mill. And then the screen is held on or supported on the edge of the mill by these big uh, crescent-shaped steel pieces that bolt through and uh, give that little lip right here for the screen to sit on. And there's one on, on both sides here that holds the screen in place. So here's the upper lid for the hammer mill. And this has half-inch thick walls. It has stiffening ribs on the top and also on the back side here. And we'll take a look at the inside. 
all the all the wear surfaces are covered by one inch thick armor the heavy wear surfaces here the back plate here and then the side is half inch thick because they it wears less on the side there's these big carriage bolts that hold the armor in place and uh, you can see from the wear that it's it's minimal this is a AR 400 abrasion resistant steel and there's there's not even hardly any chips at all or any dings on the armor at all so it's holding up very very well to the impacts inside the hammer mill so here's a video of the four inch screen we ran uh, all our samples through and this screen has had several several tons of material aluminum brass electronics um, computers all sorts of stuff run through it and you can see the the screen's still in great shape it's got a few dings and, and dents here and there as to be expected but um, this is actually one and a half inch thick steel and you know the a little bit of wear on the corners of the screen isn't a big deal because the tolerance is so big it's four inch by four inch so even if it gets rounded out a little bit on the on the surface of the hole it's not a, it's not a big problem um, so you've got you know hundreds and hundreds of tons of life in these screens and then here's the hammers we pulled one out so you can see um, very very little wear on this hammer it's uh, drop forged uh, manganese steel for extra long life they work hardened um, and so you know I think the, the wear parts there were some concerns uh, on some of our earlier YouTube videos about the wear on the machine um, but you can see now after we've run some samples through the through the mill and through the screens that the wear is pretty minimal um, and I think it's gonna last a long long time so thanks for watching our video hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions or comments please leave us uh, a comment below or you can find our contact info in the description below so thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one